As per TASS, part of Russian state media, the first batch of Poseidon torpedoes has been manufactured and will soon be delivered to arm the Russian Navy submarine Belgorod. The report does not mention how many torpedoes are included in the batch. Overall, Russia is expected to manufacture 30 of these. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russian Poseidon is a terrifying apocalypse weapon. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. Use the code DEFENSE at the checkout to get an extra month free for the two-year plan. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The Poseidon, NATO reporting name Canyon, previously known by Russian codename Status-6, is an autonomous, nuclear-powered and nuclear-armed unmanned underwater vehicle under development by Rubin Design Bureau, capable of delivering both conventional and nuclear payloads. The drone got its name following the results of open voting on the website of Russia's defense ministry. The Poseidon is one of the six new Russian strategic weapons announced by Russian President Vladimir Putin on the 1st of March 2018. Poseidon, together with its carrier, nuclear-powered submarines, make part of Russia's so-called oceanic multi-purpose system. Poseidon is about 65 feet long and 6.5 feet wide, making it the largest torpedo ever deployed. It's so large that it's arguably an underwater drone. The use of nuclear power gives it nearly unlimited range. The torpedo-shaped robotic mini-submarine can travel at speeds of 100 knots, 185 kilometers per hour. It has a range of 6,200 miles or 10,000 kilometers and can travel at a maximum depth of 3,280 feet or 1,000 meters. This underwater drone is perceived to have stealth technology to avoid detection. As per TASS, the Poseidon drone being developed in Russia would be capable of carrying a nuclear warhead with a yield of up to 2 megatons. To give viewers a perspective, here's a comparison. Trinity test in New Mexico in July 1945, which ushered in the nuclear age, had a yield of 20 kilotons. Hiroshima's little boy bomb had a yield of 13 to 18 kilotons, whereas Nagasaki's fat man bomb had a yield of 20 to 22 kilotons of TNT. Belgorod began life in 1992 as an Oscar II guided missile submarine. The Russian Navy was unable to complete the unfinished submarine for more than two decades due to lack of funds, but in the mid-2010s, construction was restarted with the aim of finishing her as a Special Mission Auxiliary submarine. The Special Mission modifications included six extra-large torpedo tubes to carry and launch Poseidon torpedoes. Belgorod is 583 feet long, approximately 50 feet wide, and displaces 30,000 tons fully loaded, which makes it 50% larger by displacement compared to the U.S. Navy's Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines. Poseidon has the potential for multiple strategic uses. These could be some of its missions. 1. Attacking rivals' coasts this weapon could create a tsunami wave up to 500 meters tall that will radioactively contaminate large parts of an enemy's coastline. Poseidon could be armed with a cobalt bomb. A cobalt bomb is a type of salted bomb, a nuclear weapon designed to produce enhanced amounts of radioactive fallout intended to contaminate a large area with radioactive material. Upon detonation, cobalt-59 would be transmuted into cobalt-60, a highly radioactive particle with a half-life of more than five years. 
it will cause massive destruction, rendering large areas unusable for years. No country in the world has yet tested a cobalt bomb due to the devastating radiation it would unleash. 2. Destroying Naval Bases Being much smaller than a traditional submarine, the Poseidon could sneak very close to the enemy's naval bases and detonate itself, causing tremendous damage to the enemy's naval assets, like warships or submarine fleet. 3. Annihilating U.S. Aircraft Carriers Russia's main rival, the U.S., has about 10 supercarriers in active service. These have been used to project power much beyond the American homeland. Russia's only Admiral Kuznetsov is not operational currently. In this situation, Russia needs asymmetric ways to deal with American supercarriers. Poseidon could be assigned to neutralize U.S. carriers. Russia could quietly position a few of these in strategic points in the oceans, then remotely activate when in striking distance of a U.S. carrier group. 4. Eliminating the U.S. SSBN Fleet The U.S. currently has an Ohio SSBN fleet of 14 vessels. This is scheduled to decline to 12 Columbia SSBNs in the future. On any given day, half of the U.S. SSBN is in port and the other half patrolling at sea. So the most credibly survivable leg of the entire U.S. nuclear triad is only about six to seven submarines. Poseidon could be used to tail these submarines and attack them on command. Even a robust submarine of the Ohio class may not survive a two-megaton warhead even when detonated pretty far off. The U.S. and NATO members are developing multiple anti-missile defense systems. The U.S. missile defense systems, like ground-based mid-course defense, Aegis ballistic missile defense system, or Thermal High Altitude Area Defense (THAAD) are designed to take out traditional missiles. Though Russia is developing offensive systems capable of penetrating the U.S. air defense shield, Poseidon would be an alternative mechanism. If it works as described, Poseidon would be able to bypass these missile defense systems altogether as it will travel underwater and Russia's nuclear deterrence will stay intact. The speed makes it impossible for NATO submarines and torpedoes to catch up with a Poseidon racing to target. So technically, Poseidon has no counter and has massive destructive power, which makes it an apocalypse weapon. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.